Easter is the oldest and most important Christian holiday when people remember the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Christians believe the Bible is God's word to us. The Bible tells of God creating the heavens and the earth. It also says that God created man and woman, but that they disobeyed God and because of this sin are separated from God. Now each person who is born has a sin nature that separates us from a holy God. In the first half of the Bible, people relied upon the blood from an unblemished lamb to cover their sins. Then God sent His Son Jesus to be our sacrificial lamb. His blood was spilled on the cross at Easter time to take away our sins and allow us to have a relationship with God. Christians believe that Jesus overcame death and offers people the promise of eternal life for everyone who believes in Him. Easter is celebrated in the spring when new life emerges out of the dead of winter. Prior to AD 325, Easter was variously celebrated on different days of the week but in that year, under Emperor Constantine, it was determined that it would always be the first Sunday following the full moon. The date of Easter is different from year to year because it is based on the lunar calendar and can fall on any date between March 22nd and April 25th. The Sunday before Easter is called Palm Sunday it celebrates Jesus' entry into Jerusalem to celebrate the Jewish festival of Passover. People greeted him by waving palm branches and by covering his path with the branches while shouting Hosanna, which in Hebrew means, save us now. Immediately following this joyous time of celebration, Jesus began His journey to the cross. On a Thursday evening, Jesus ate one final Passover dinner with His twelve disciples, which is referred to as the Last Supper. Many are familiar with Leonardo da Vinci's painting depicting the event. With the bread and wine, Jesus foretold the coming of a new covenant. The unleavened bread represented His sinless body, which would be broken. The wine represented His blood, which would be spilled for the forgiveness of sins. At that time, Jesus commanded His followers to continue to do this in remembrance of Him. Most churches will observe the Lord's Supper at least once a month to remember the sacrifice Jesus made for our sins. Following the Last Supper, a disciple named Judas told the soldiers where they could find Jesus. He knew the place because Jesus often met there with his disciples. Judas guided the soldiers and some officials who were carrying torches, lanterns, and weapons. There he betrayed Jesus with a kiss. Even now, a betrayer is called a Judas. While in the garden praying, Jesus was arrested. He appeared before the Roman governor, Pilate, was put through a mock trial, and was sentenced to death on a cross the next day. Although Pilate proclaimed, both Herod and I have examined this man and find no fault in him, the crowd, out of envy, persuaded him to crucify Jesus. The Roman soldiers beat him, kicked him, flogged him with whips, and put a sharp crown of thorns on his head. Jesus was nailed to a cross with two thieves, one on each side of him. One thief hurled insults, while the other believed in Jesus. Jesus responded to the believing one by saying, I tell you the truth, today you will be with me in paradise. At about noon, the sky suddenly grew dark for about three hours. Then Jesus cried with a loud voice saying, It is finished. The Roman captain, standing near the cross, exclaimed to his soldiers, This man truly 
was the Son of God. Good Friday may be derived from God's Friday, just as goodbye was derived from God be with you. Jesus Christ willingly and obediently suffered greatly, allowing himself to be brutally sacrificed on a wooden cross. He did this to reconcile each of us to God by paying the debt for our sins, which we could never do in our own power. Although this was a very sad time, because it was when Jesus was nailed to the cross, to Christians it is considered good, because through this event, Jesus made a way for us to have eternal life. After Jesus died, his body was taken down from the cross and buried in a cave. Joseph of Arimathea took Jesus' body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and placed it in his own new tomb that he had cut out of the rock. The tomb was guarded and a huge stone was put over the entrance so that no one could steal the body. On the following Sunday, some women visited the grave and found that the stone had been moved and the tomb was empty. While they were wondering about this, suddenly angels appeared and asked them, why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He is risen, just as he said. The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, be crucified, and on the third day be raised again. Jesus himself was seen that day and for days afterwards by many people. His followers realized that God had brought Jesus back to life. On Easter Sunday, Christians celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. More people attend church on Easter Sunday than any other day of the year. People are joyful and wear their best clothes. Little girls wear their prettiest Easter dresses. People will greet one another by saying, He is risen. Others will reply, He is risen indeed. Some Easter traditions focus on the Easter egg, symbolizing new life, and the Easter bunny, symbolizing fertility. From the earliest times, the egg was a symbol of rebirth in most cultures. Each year, children paint Easter eggs and go on Easter egg hunts. Children take hard-boiled eggs and paint the outside with bright colors. Then adults hide the eggs and the children go to hunt for them. Parents buy Easter baskets for their children and fill them with Easter candies, such as chocolate eggs. The children's annual Easter egg roll on the White House lawn dates back to the time of Abraham Lincoln. It is held the day after Easter for children and their parents. The egg roll itself is a race where children push an egg through the grass with a long-handled spoon. Easter is one of the most important holidays in the world, filled with great meaning, gratefulness, and joy. 